Hi, this is Jose Co from Federal Signals Technical Department, and in this video I'm going to show you how to program an informer tone alert receiver. The equipment needed are a Windows computer with an RS-232 COM port, i-SW software, RJ11 crossover cable, and a three-port programming adapter. First, we're going to connect the crossover cable from the informer to its corresponding port in the three-port adapter. Then we're going to connect the three-port adapter to the computer serial port. Note that if your computer does not have a real serial port, you can consider using a USB flasher device, which plugs into the USB port on your computer. Once it opens, uh, we're going to select the proper COM port. In the case for my computer, it's COM port 1. And then we're going to read the programming out of the informer. So I'm going to click on the Read from Unit push button. Click OK. It's going to briefly indicate that it's reading, and then the fields will populate according to what's currently programmed in the informer. So right now, there's one frequency programmed in there, no codes and no audible alarms. So I'm going to go ahead and alter these fields. So I'm going to add a frequency of 151.625 as an example. Uh, for code 1, I'm going to use two-tone. And as you can see, additional fields will appear. I want to use a frequency of 500 and 1,000, as well as a standard tone length of 1 second for the A-tone and 3 second for the B-tone. For code 2, I'm going to use DTMF with a DTMF string of pound, 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 zero, 01. And for code 3, I'm going to use digital. We're going to leave this at function 1. I'm going to put it in zone 1, and on the site address is 1. And so for code 1, which corresponds to the two tone activation, I'm going to make it do a warble. For code 2, corresponding to DTMF, I'm going to make it do a steady. And for code 3, I'm going to make it do a beep. And we'll also turn on both relays. I'm going to just choose auto reset for both of these. For the relay 1 on time, I'm going to use 5 seconds. Off time of 5 seconds for a total of 60 seconds, as an example. And I'm just going to do the same for relay 2 as well. So after we're done populating the fields, we can go ahead and write this programming back into the informer by pressing the program unit push button. Click OK. And it's going to briefly indicate that it's programming the EE prompt. And then after the prompt appears saying that the programming was successful, that will conclude the programming of the informer. Thanks for watching. For further questions, please contact our technical support team uh, by email at techsupport-ans at federalsignal.com or by phone at 800-524-3021.